One of the most dangerous and most common things I see with routers is choosing the wrong bit speed. Now it can be a little bit tricky because RPM alone doesn't really tell you if you're doing it right or not. So if you've ever burned wood or chipped an edge or just felt that the bit was a little bit too aggressive, bit speed might have been the issue. So in this video I'll walk you through it all so it makes sense. One of the most important things about knowing how to use a router is understanding at what speed the bit should be rotating. Bit speed calculations can be confusing and honestly I don't understand all the scientific uh, aspects and mathematics behind it but what I do know is how to simplify it so that we can understand it and that's what we're going to be focusing on in this lesson. Back in chapter one we looked at variable speed routers and how those routers can be adjusted to change the motors RPMs which ultimately affects the speed of the bits rotation. Bit speed, however, is not the same as RPM. So if I have a router that's spinning at 18,000 RPMs, that doesn't mean that the bit itself is spinning at 18,000 RPMs. Why is that? Well, it's because of something called rim speed. Each router bit has a different diameter and the speed out at the rim or the outer edge of the bit is called the rim speed and it's different from one bit to another. For example, a three and a half inch diameter bit set to 24,000 RPM will spin somewhere around five times the speed of a three quarter inch diameter bit set to the same RPM. Another way to say this is that the bit speed is based off the diameter of the bit and the speed of that bit is measured out at the rim of the bit. So for this bit here, because the rim or the circle is so much bigger than this one here, it needs to spin at a slower RPM because out at the edge here, the rim speed is much faster than this smaller bit. The larger the bit, the slower the RPMs need to be because there's a lot more material passing by the cutter of a larger diameter bit than a smaller diameter bit. There are plenty of router speed bit charts online that you can download and use. However, I did make one for this lesson. I recommend downloading it and using it. But prior to using that, the best place to look for the recommended speeds is from the bit manufacturer themselves. However, not all manufacturers list each bit and that's why these speed charts are available. But sometimes more specific bits will have numbers stamped on the side of them or on the package. For example, this bit here has a max speed stamped right on the shank of the bit. This is probably considered a specialty bit so it is very important that everyone knows its max speed. All right, if you haven't downloaded the speed chart yet for this lesson, go ahead and do that now and let's talk about some of the numbers. On the left side here is the diameter of the bit. On the right is the max speed setting for each diameter. So for our three and a half inch or 89 millimeter diameter bit that we first looked at, the max RPM setting would be around 12,000 RPMs. In order to know which number to set your variable speed router at, you must view your owner's manual for that information. For example, my Bosch's manual shows a dial setting of around 1.5 for speeds around 10 to 12,000 RPMs. Now then if we look back at our 3 quarter inch or 19 millimeter diameter bit, the speed chart shows a max router speed of 24,000. Therefore, if we turn back to the manual, the correct setting would be close to around a 6 on the dial. The numbers on these speed charts aren't perfect. That's why you'll find slight variations on the internet and actually from manufacturer to manufacturer. That's why it's important for you to double check the manufacturer first, but don't be afraid to use these numbers. The more you start to use your router in different size bits, the more you understand and get a feel for what's right. In this lesson, you learned that the rim speed and the motor's RPMs are in fact different. A general rule of thumb is the larger the bit, the lower the RPMs, and the smaller the bit, the higher the RPMs. The more you work with different types of bits over time, you'll get a better sense of what the right bit speed is for you and all of your different types of routers. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. If something stood out to you in this video, drop me a comment. Hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. 
All of this information that we talked about today is in my full routers course. If you're looking to dive even deeper into this topic and more, go ahead and check out the links below to visit my page to check out the router course. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video.